Today how's it going? Today is 13 of January, Saturday, and we are taking a look at the market and what kind of opportunities are available out there. But today I thought that I'll do, uh, I'll try to do a slightly different, right? So myself, I'm going to be taking a look at the map and try to understand Bristol area. From my personal experience, if I were on uh, where I'm going to be beginning with, right? Most likely, uh, I will be taking a look at the M5. And that would be road and or how well connected uh, location might be to M5 or perhaps M4. That's how I see things going forward. So it would need to be well connected to either one of those. I don't know about the property prices. Some some of those property prices will uh, close to you get to yes, city center. So center is BS one, right? The more expensive it can get. It might be easier uh, in terms of uh, people traveling to work, but it would be way way perhaps too expensive to begin with. Since we take a look at entry point and where to begin, perhaps. We're taking a look at uh, some of the initiatives and where there might be some opportunities. Again, it is because I've been have uh, been looking at so many different areas, right? And or perhaps universities, so to say, right? So we, if we were to take a look at universities and collaborative opportunities with universities, we were to take a look at Bristol, so that perhaps would be city centre, right? And or Bath, even the university, right? So that would be city centres and some of those opportunities when it comes to uh, having uh, necessary um, uh, people and or perhaps entry level right so that would be more of the university side so the two universities within bristol and one college and uh, another university might be a bath right so that would be perhaps those areas right? considering those areas if i were to progress from perhaps to then take a look at the map right if i were to progress from uh, west to east right so west next to m5 that would be more of the engineering uh, that would be next to m5 uh, to the south of bristol there's a lot of opportunities for food production businesses right and all produce storage everything would related to food right that would be more of the south uh, uh, city overall is known for world leading uh, manufacturing and or our uh, aviation aerospace industry so it's something they even sourcing finance there might be more opportunities taking a look at this industry right and opportunities within this industry if we are taking a look at the uh, other side of the bridge that would be wales and opportunities there uh, that would be perhaps more of the semiconductors and manufacturing of those right and uh, receiving financial incentives and taking a look at some of those industries right if we're taking a look at uh, perhaps sourcing finance you might find uh, a lot easier to solve those particular problems perhaps based on the past historically what people sold already yourself and now and then i'm coming in i'm trying to solve different problems <laughs> it's very hard it's very hard compared to a lot easier things that perhaps something has already been de uh, done in the past and always been currently been done I can give uh, examples for days where I would approach government institution that was funded by my own tax money. I would approach them and I would uh, perhaps uh, come up uh, to these people with a project. Uh, someone who has industry knowledge uh, within the industry of how to solve problems for 30 perhaps years, right? I would come up to this person, I would say, well, let's solve this problem in this particular way. And that person would not necessarily would even listen to what I have to say. Would uh, the person will explain me the process of how I should come up to this person? Uh, I should come up and express my interest in already existing problems. Here you go. So the, then it's repeating cycle. <laughs> if I myself or others perhaps facing the same problems, right? When you're looking at the industry and looking to solve those problems differently. People not necessarily, and you need to approval from local government, right? You, you're gonna ha have to have approval, right? Yeah, they only would know how to solve existing problems. If you're coming up with a new set of problems or new uh, standards, new principles, new systems, uh, you, everything new, the people not, don't understand what's happening. <laughs> 
since people don't understand it, there's a lot of friction. Friction, time, stress, uh, uncomfortable people. Everyone's feeling very uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm just happy that some people, uh, a lot older people, <laughs> it's a lot easier, I guess, to deal with this kind of feeling, right? Other than that, this is how what I'm trying to expand on of my frustration of current way of doing things and people understanding current way but if you're coming up with the new way they're not necessarily able to invest time energy in the reviewing process or better process perhaps even or perhaps sticking with the same old same old <laughs> i would uh, if anyone is up there and they're trying to solve those problems perhaps starting on a smaller level right and try to build it up right but again it would require a lot of your time and energy to build it up, right? And uh, when it comes to build it up, start perhaps with a smaller project. So perhaps uh, you're looking at the time frame, perhaps six months, uh, uh, budget up to perhaps 50,000 and try to build the record. Uh, so then you would have something to show and prove your points. So otherwise, it's very hard to uh, communicate with some of those uh, projects up there and no groups of management of the perhaps some of the funds available right so perhaps building it up right start with a smaller one close the smaller one and progress from there you might find a lot easier to do things that particular way otherwise you might get stuck into uh, understanding current process and following current process if that makes sense instead of uh, yourself coming up with new ways of doing things uh, yourself if you're interested in learning more i have published a book where i'm taking a look at uh, uh routines and how to build those habits and i would highly recommend to you have this system that are being flow and where to begin other than building those smaller routines and how you can potentially progress on those so that would be sticking to the system from cover to cover 90 days that would be enough time to build a habit and once you have the habit going you can potentially take a look at what you do and a management of your time every 24 hour window that would be every page and some of those areas i would highly recommend uh, beginning with that what is outlined within this system so those areas uh 20 or plus areas where to start it might be charging in the beginning but that's a good place to start and progress on there then take a look at how you're managing your time you can find it qr code in, in the corner and companies that side below It's just something that I'm uh, currently taking a look at that would be perhaps Birmingham area, just uh, some of the pain points, right, and uh, how much of the budget uh, Birmingham area is currently looking for. That would be 300 million within the next two years, so uh, Birmingham, uh, Birmingham area might be more keen in doing business together, but not necessarily needs to be limited to this area, but that's just overall expanding, right? Uh, still operating domestically with having expanded worldwide yet <laughs> still operating domestically and just uh, overall uh, overview of some of those areas within the perhaps Bristol uh, which is uh, currently looking for about 32 million or so Birmingham is looking for 300 so perhaps there might be more opportunities but again who of the and what opportunities are available there and if the uh, management of the council or people there might be keen in solving problems perhaps they're more motivated <laughs> compared to other areas that's overall thanks for watching i'll see you next one